face is done. Also, I've been wearing these earrings. These are from Marshalls. They're like little Minimalist ones from Bubble Bar. And I've been wearing them. And I slept in them and I didn't even realize them. I'm gonna do my hair. And usually for my hair, most days I wear it curly. But then it gets to a point like today where it's not fully curly anymore and there's only so much i can do to like try and revive it i either slick it back in a bun or i will curl it or straighten it or something and usually i go for like straightening and like adding heat to it because then it lasts me a little bit longer like i could have it like straightened and curled for like two days and then i can slick it back at the end of the week and you know so I think I'm gonna straighten it. I had to put this sweatshirt on because it's so cold. But I know when I go outside, it's gonna be freaking hot. Summer weather is so weird in California. Like what is even happening? Lately, I haven't been sleeping like under my actual bed cover. I've just been using little blankets because I'm supposed to sleep with anything else. Oh, I've been sleeping with my like little mermaid blanket that I have from Marshall's from Starbucks. I got a yeah, I'll guess what we got. Ice vanilla latte with oat milk. Cheers. Kind of filming a TikTok as well, so my tripod's out. But I've also have been taking a bunch of dance classes. I haven't been filming them or anything. I really just wanted to push myself to just dance some more. Because you guys know that was like one of my goals for this year. Back into dancing because I truly miss it, and I do dance on my own. But like nothing beats being in a dance class. I have been taking some classes, literally just for fun. And have I been struggling? Absolutely. So crazy how taking a break from something for so long can really affect your ability to retain choreography, perform, the confidence. I used to be so confident. It really was. I was just such a confident queen when it came to dance. Like that was my thing. Like I knew I was good at it. I'm very self-aware and I know where my strong suits are. And at a point, that was one of my strong suit suits for sure, was my ability to perform. I feel like in the recent classes that I've been taking, I just, I would get kind of sad at the fact I'm just not where I was. And obviously a lot of that has to do with not taking classes for so many years. Like your body just isn't used to doing it. So I'm just like slowly getting back into it and just doing it because it's fun and... I'm not dancing as much as I would like to. Like I would love to have more time to take more classes. And I think now that summer is finally here and I'm done working for like the next month or so, I can like finally dance some more. And I'm really excited about it because I truly love doing it. And I know I'm good at it. I just need to like find my confidence in it again. Or find Cassandra. The dancer. We need to bring her out, okay? I finished combing my hair, but I've been getting questions on what I use in my hair, and I do want to do like an updated hair routine video, but I have been using this Living Proof Oil. When I went to Sephora, I was looking for like a hair oil, and one of the employees recommended this to me, and you guys, it is game changer. You really don't need that much. I already put a little bit in my hair. But I'm just going to show you again. So it has like this little dropper. One little drop. You just rub it through your hair. and immediately gets rid of the frizz. It's kind of expensive. But the littlest drop goes such a long way. And I've never been more impressed with the product for my hair in such a long time. It smells so good. So if you are someone that has like frizzier hair like I do and you want to like retouch up your curls or whatever it is seriously game changer and like there's literally no more frizz and i'm obsessed highly recommend anyways gonna go pick an outfit so i think for today i want to wear this dress it was kind of what i had in mind which is why i wanted to curl my hair 
I have this dress from Princess Polly. It has like little flowers on it. The other option was like a little short set, but I don't know. I kind of just really want to feel pretty in a dress today. So I think that's what we're going to do. I just finished getting ready. I'm about to head out. I put on my dress. I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, and then I'm wearing my little Disneyland necklace and just like my everyday kind of rings. But we're going to go and get some sushi. I am just getting hungry and I have some time before my nail appointment. I'm wearing this Princess Polly bag like every single day for a couple, like a week or two now um and i added this little bubble bar marshall's hair clip to it but yeah all right we're gonna leave now shopping a little bit before I go to the gym. I just made it back home. I got sushi, I went to the nail salon, I got another Starbucks, and then I went to Savers, the thrift store. Let me show you my nails though because I think they're so cute. They're just like pink and white little flowers little diamonds i got matching pink toes i personally love having pink toes instead of white i know people love a white toe color but i think like a really soft baby pink is just like slightly different from everyone else you know but it's still like cute and girly i'll show you guys the things that i found at the thrift store i found this like tropical looking dress which i thought was like really pretty for the summer it was made in Hawaii, so we love that. It's like a halter. I don't know if I would wear it as a halter or if I would just like tuck it in and just wear it strapless. I have to try it on to see what it looks like. Um, it looks like it does have like a slight high-low hemline. It says size 12, so I'm assuming this is a kid's dress, but it was in the adult section, so I feel like I can just force myself to like, make it fit. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be really cute for the summer. It's like my favorite thing that I found, and when I saw it, I was like purchasing immediately because it's such great condition too. It's this baby pink dress, and it has these polka dots, which I don't really wear polka dots unless I'm doing like a Minnie Mouse inspired outfit, but I just thought this color was so cute, and the polka dots weren't too much like they're very small and the back is just like a little v with like maybe black heels or something i just thought it was so pretty so i hope it fits me i just bought this pink tank top it was two bucks um it's originally from forever 21 i've been seeing the getty strap tank tops are like back in i've seen them layered with another tank top underneath the last thing that i got i was obsessed with i'm just nervous and i'll tell you why so it's like a little set like lingerie kind of set which i like wearing lingerie dresses as just like regular dresses like i think they're really cute with like heels like detailing is so pretty i could not pass it up it came with a matching robe which looks like this just a pink robe and it also has the really uh, pretty detailing on it now, the issue with it it does look like it has like makeup stains on it so i'm hoping i can take it to like a dry cleaner and get it fixed because i was like i am not leaving this it was ten dollars for the entire thing the dress isn't as stained as the robe is so if anything i'll just keep the dress and get rid of the robe if the stain doesn't come out but i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell you see like this just like makeup -y kind of stuff so i'm really hoping that i can take it to the dry cleaner and they can get rid of it i've never taken anything to dry cleaner so i don't know that is my haul i feel like i scored some really cute stuff i'm really on the search for like the perfect pair of like vintage looking overalls I could buy them brand new on like amazon or like princess polly or something but i just really want like a cute like vintage pair also because i feel like i won't wear overalls that much i would rather just get it at the thrift store i have yet to even see a pair like let alone something in my size so 
I'm really hoping that one day I will come across a good pair of overalls. It's okay. I feel like I got some really cute stuff. I'm going to try some of them on and then I'm going to head out to the gym. Here is the tank top and it actually fits pretty well. I think the only thing is that it's really long. So maybe I'll cut it and crop it. But I mean, I don't know if you can see. But, I mean, it fits really well. Here's what the dress looks like. I think it looks really cute. It is really tight, so good thing I have the chest of a 12-year-old boy. And you can tie it here, which I think that is really cute. The only thing I don't really like is this high-low hemline. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm kind of thinking I could cut it and just make it go straight across like a mini dress. Um, I think that'll be cuter than the longer in the back. I don't really like that. Here's the final dress. I think it's a little loose. Like, I wish it was, like, a little bit more fitted, but I think it is still really, really cute. And I'm excited to style this a bit more. I'm going to go and get ready for the gym. And I'm sweating. Also, in the thrift store, there was no AC. I was boiling while, while shopping, so that was not very fun. Outfit for the gym for today. I'm wearing this whole outfit it's from Aerie and I've never worn this combo together. I usually do like a colored bottom with like a white top, but I all of mine are dirty. So we're doing the purple and I need to put my hair up. I think I'm just gonna use this claw clip. Wow, I got so many colors. I look like a Easter egg. My hair is not doing what it needs to do. Maybe we don't clip it. Maybe we put a hair tie in. I don't really like wearing my hair in a ponytail when I go to the gym because then if my back gets all sweaty and I don't like that feeling. I need more deodorant. I've been going to the gym at night lately. I kind of like it a little better. The only issue is that there's a lot, a lot of men at the gym at night and just a lot of people in general but specifically men, like gym bros, and I just like don't like fighting for the benches and the equipment. Everyone in the gym knows what they're doing while I don't, and I'm not lifting as heavy, and I know I shouldn't compare myself, but that's how I feel when I go to the gym, which is why I avoided going to the gym for like my entire life until now. And I feel like the best time to go is like 1 p.m. when people will have jobs and can't go to the gym. Lately, I've just been like busy filming. Lately, I've been going really late and it's not very fun. We're gonna head out wearing my little lemon jacket, which I actually have been using a lot. So feeling better about making this purchase because if you've watched the haul video, I was like, I don't know if it was a dumb purchase to make because like, am I actually gonna use it? And I actually have been using it quite a lot lately, so. I feel better about spending the money on it. Headphones that I actually got on Marshalls. I would have loved to have the Apple headphones, but when I checked the price, I like couldn't believe my eyes what <laughs> the cost of it was. So I ended up not getting those, maybe one day. But until then, I got these at Marshalls for $15 and they work. I mean, is it the best sound? No, but they have the same vibe and they work. And that's all I need them to do is to work. You know what I mean? 15 bucks from Marshalls. Anyways, taking the Sony Clover Fanny and the Stanley. Alright, here we go.